I now have the pleasure of introducing our keynote speaker this evening, Dr. Robson Martins de Arrujo, Jr. Jr. is a Brazilian PhD student in the Teaching, Learning, and Technology program at Lehigh University. His research focuses on using video games to educate learners of all ages. With over 10 years of teaching experience, Junior has taught English in elementary, high school, and college classrooms. His first experience in American schools was here in Building 21 with you. Junior is a lifelong gamer, passionate about education, foreign languages, learning strategies, instructional technologies, and virtual reality. Currently, he teaches game design and development for immersive learning. It is my pleasure to welcome back Junior. Thank you, Mr. Rosado. Good evening, Building 21 students, teachers, parents, guardians, staff, school board, all the supporters of this beautiful family that has welcomed me when I arrived in the United States. Buenas noches también a las familias y amigos de los estudiantes graduados. It is a great honor for me to address these words to the class of 2021. The send-off message is full of cliches. However, I have kept them close to my heart and nurtured them all the way in my life since I was a high school graduate just like you tonight. I believe folk knowledge to be extremely rich once we are ready to see through the words and reap the benefits of its application in our day-to-day -day lives. So I would like to share some of these sayings, popular sayings, with you tonight in this special day. Hopefully, one day in the future, out of the blue, you will recall some of these words, these ideas, when you need them the most. I have to congratulate you because you started off on the right foot. Education is our safest investment in our lives. You put the time, effort, money, and you know that will change your future for the better. With education comes knowledge. And like they say, knowledge is power. Knowledge is the only one thing that no one will ever be able to take away from you. Power to perform changes, to impact the world positively. Just like the trees you have planned, proposed, and planted in front of your school. An excellent example of change for the better, change of our inner selves, change of our surrounding environment, our city, and even other states, with your invaluable contribution and input as citizen scientists. Education is key. It gives you the power to assist those who supported you along the way when we were younger and powerless. It gives us the ability to solve problems, to keep, moving, to keep things moving forward. The more we study, the more keys we collect to open doors, for going different places, for meeting new people, to listening to new stories, for expanding our reach and our horizons. And in case you find some of these doors to be jammed, we can always use our knowledge to find a window of opportunity and keep marching on. It is by collaborating and sharing that we learn best. And despite all of us being freshmen in 2018, what a team we formed. By sharing the experience, that experience, how much we discovered, learned, and evolved together. Collaborative work is a must-have skill in our society, and like they say, two heads think better than one. We should not underestimate ourselves by saying or thinking, I don't know enough because nobody knows everything. It's impossible. Don't be afraid to take initiatives. Don't be shy. Life is too short, and you might regret some missed opportunities where you could have taken the lead or spoken up. By applying what we have come to know, we can level up even further 
we face new challenges, we have new questions, and naturally, we end up being engaged in new activities. Remember when I tried my best to speak Brazilian Spanish during our field investigations and in-class data analysis? I still don't feel very confident in my Spanish, pero yo siempre intento mi mejor. Every now and then, try stepping out of your comfort zone. Who knows what else you may discover when you take on new challenges or try to quench your curiosity. Mario Cortella, a Brazilian philosopher, said, sometimes the impossible, it's not a fact, it's just an opinion. Cultivate your curiosity because it is humanity's most powerful driving force. Ask questions. Seek answers for the th things that you kind of know and understand. If we do not ask questions, and if we don't question some things in life, we accept conformity, and we will basically be repeating things that have been said and done. Like this, progress could be undermined. Haven't we all heard that younger generations are the agents of change? So let us roll up our sleeves, scratch our heads, and see how we can help the world be a better place for everyone. Thanks to those who have challenged and questioned life at different moments, we are able to enjoy the conveniences of technology, especially the internet. Oh, if you knew how our offline lives used to be, the struggle was real. Nowadays, it only takes a voice command, some clicks or taps, and you can have knowledge of anything. In addition, there are so many freely available resources, courses, videos, apps, and whatnot about virtually every topic on the planet. So, what would you like to learn next? In diversity, we thrive. There is so much we can learn from only one source, one cultural background, one creed. When we come together and exchange our experiences is the very moment we can break through and go beyond. Let us recognize the beauty and the potential of our diversity. Realize how our differences complement one another and understand that plurality is one of our greatest assets in life. Another important life hack I would like to share with you tonight is know yourself. Just like we know that exercising is important for our body and mental health, taking some time to examine our new inner selves is an incredibly empowering practice. And the sooner we start doing that, the better. Knowing our strengths allows us to perform at our best, while acknowledging our weaknesses can spare us from very difficult situations. Simply put, some people are early birds, others are night owls. Which one are you? Once we know what works best for us, we are more capable of respecting our limitations, of loving and believing in ourselves. As Paulo Freire reminds us, no one is fully formed, I'm sorry, no one is born fully formed. It is through self-experience in the world that we become what we are meant to be. Each of us is uniquely and have a unique power in special ways. So let's us focus on doing our best with what we have today and not waste our times and energy with comparisons. There is an African proverb that goes, if you think you are too small to be effective, you have never been in bed with a mosquito. Make the most out of your network. In the past three years, you've met several teachers, mentors, school staff, each of which have their abilities across areas full of knowledge and experiences from different backgrounds. For instance, if we ever need to talk about politics or civics, 
the first person that comes to my mind is Miss Salter. If you ever need to talk about foreign languages, video games, virtual reality, you can always reach out to me. The same applies to several other topic areas in our lives. So do not hesitate to reach out to those connections you made in Building 21, especially the ones you most identified with. Now, the greatest cliches of them all. Follow your dreams. I used to daydream about myself in white hair, white beard, holding a book that I wrote about learning everything from video games. Somehow, I have always known that I would be living in the United States one day. And 30, uh, 30 years later, here I am with you. When we first met in 2018, it was my first experience in an American high school and my first year as a doctorate student. Later that year, I seized an opportunity and ended up developing my first video game. In spring 2019, I returned to Building 21 with my first educational game prototype for headset virtual reality. For me, Building 21 means more than power passion, and agency. It means our dreams are becoming true. By combining the knowledge you gather through education and the experiences you face in life, you improve your ability to critically judge what works best for you or not. Although these popular sayings make sense, and sometimes they fit like a glove, life is not a bed of roses. For example, there is a TikTok soundtrack that goes, eh, 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 I'm on vacation every single day because I love my occupation. You know, as a college freshman, that made perfect sense. Today, I partially agree with or the saying, do what you love and you will never work. I believe, and I'm a living proof, that doing what we love is key for our happiness. My mom cried when I told her I was going to study English and literature. And she asked, aren't you going to become a lawyer? Your whole family has the books and all the support you have. But I knew in order to be happy and successful, I needed to do what I was passionate about, what I liked the most, what I had like facilities, I, it was easy for me, it came naturally, and that was foreign languages. So I started college as an English major. I'm so happy that I followed my heart that day, even though my mom cried, because in the first opportunity I had to have an internship that was paid as a pre-service English teacher, and I had to teach English for Brazilian speakers I had an entire 25 uh, people classroom in front of me, and I had to teach them speaking English. I don't know what happened. I just felt that that was the thing I was meant to do, and it, I have been doing that since 2006. Finding the balance, then, is essential. Work is very important for one's life, but our life health and happiness are extremely important. It was through the struggles and failures that I learned the importance of hashtag self-care. Only if we are feeling 100% we will be able to give our best to those around us. Balancing life is not a product. Achieving it is a daily and personal challenge. That is why we need to learn to love ourselves, but also to respect others. Only then we will be able to support those we care about and become successful adults in navigating the challenges of our intertwined lives. You know what? Before coming to Building 21, I had never planted a tree. I am so grateful that I was able to help you plant one of the trees from Mary Bell's proposal. Once again, Building 21 made it possible for us to change our lives deeply and meaningfully. 
Thank you very much, and congratulations to the Building 21, Allentown's class of 2021. <laughs>